Composing Gloves here with AMP Studio. Today we're gonna to be looking at Splitter. It is an AI tool that allows you to take a song and split it into its parts. What do I mean by that? Well, here I have this song called I've Seen the Blind. And you know, it's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. Like if we come over here, there's some cool vocals, some cool drums. So what if I wanted just the vocal? Well, I don't have access to the original recording of just the vocal. This is referred to as a stem, uh, of just a single part of the song. Uh, so there's not really an easy way to do this. The drums make it extremely hard. Now there is. We have an AI that can actually look at the song and split it into what it thinks the different parts are. So if we come over here to the side, there's a little button. And we refer to this as splitter, uh, but it's labeled split with AI assistant. So this is gonna be the splitter. So if we click this, we don't want to save this, it's going to start a new project, so we'll click don't save. And I'm going to give it the song. Right now we'll start off with two stems, it's going to do two parts. It'll try to get the vocals out. It's an AI, you know, it's, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be pretty dang amazing compared to how hard it would be to get the drums out any other way. And then we'll have accompaniment, this will have everything else. We'll take a look at some of the other ones in here as well, because, you know, you can split it into more parts. But we'll just start off with two. So we're going to hit split. It's going to upload the file, and then it's going to split the file. Now, when it's actually splitting the file, it often hangs around 80%. It's still working. Sometimes it takes around 30 seconds to a minute um, because, you know, it just takes resources to do this. So just be a little bit patient, and we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to the result. All right, so it just finished. It's now going to load it up into a new project. Here we are, and we've got our accompaniment. And at the top, we will have our vocals. They are over here because that's when the vocals come in. So if we just play it like normal, it'll sound the same. But if we solo out the vocals now, and we wanted to do a remix, if we wanted to rebalance this in some way, maybe we thought the vocals should be softer, but we don't have access to the original you know, stems, the original recordings. Uh, this is a way to do that. Maybe we want just the accompaniment and we want to sing something different over it. Maybe we're looking for cool ways to make some instrumental loops. There's a lot of uses for this, and this is, you know, now possible. It's something we can do. Let's go ahead, let's do another. Uh, let's go over to the splitter, and this time let's get four stems. Now for this one, I'm going to use a different track just to keep things interesting. Uh, we will go ahead and use Into the Deep. And in this one, we'll get vocals, drums, bass, and other, notably drums. I like to extract drums from tracks, and a lot of the times since... It's not the exact drum loop, it's what the AI thinks is the drums. You get some really unique drum loops this way, things that would be really hard to do any other way, some really unique sounds. There's no vocals in this, so this will probably be mostly empty. Let's go ahead and hit split and see what we get. All right, here's what we've got. So in the other category, we have a bunch of the atmospheric elements of the track. We go ahead and solo it out. Very nice. A few um, unusual bleeds over here in the drums. Not quite sure what that is. But if we come over, this is another exciting part about the drums. A lot of the effects kinds of things. Let's solo them out here. Those kinds of things. Layers. You're able to go and take tracks and extract these layers from them that are useful in all kinds of music. So that's another thing I like to do. Let's get over here to where the drums are at. You can hear what I mean by unique drum loops. There's stuff from the bass that's actually in there. If we were to solo up the bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's add it with other. Let's mix two. And then we'll add in the drums. We do have something in the vocal here. I am curious what it is, because I don't have a vocal. Oh, it took the formancy. There's a formancy part of the bass that comes in, and vocals are very formancy. So it took that as a vocal. That's really cool. Uh, so anyways, we're able to split it. Let's go ahead and do one with five. All right, it's loading up the results. Let's see what we got. Okay, so uh, quite a bit on the piano part. That's looking promising. Here is the track, what it sounds like. Oh, let's come over to the beginning. It remembers the play ahead from the previous project.
So it looks like some of it made its way into other. Let's go with solo, just piano. Let's see what we got. This is the, the new stem. Let's go ahead and add in the other. Yeah, a touch of it's up there, if you're listening up here. And as more elements come in, we have like some bell leads and things in there where the piano part sounds like that. And putting it all together, we can check out the drums. It looks like it got the drums real good. So if you're a hunt for drum loops, this would be a good one to do it on. And here we have our bass. So there you have it. That is Splitter. If you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know. If you make something cool with it, drop a comment down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.